My next guest is the sister of One Direction's Louis Tomlinson. And you might remember back in 2016, the mum Joanna died from leukaemia. And just last year, their sister Felicity died after an accidental drug overdose. Well, today, Lottie Tomlinson is talking for the first time and it's all about helping other people deal with grief. And Lottie joins me now. It's lovely to see you, Lottie. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for talking to Hi. us this morning. Well, I tell you what, you've been through it. Sadly, you've had to go through this. I mean, your mum, it was so it was so fast, wasn't it? From from yeah. the time she got diagnosed to when mm -hmm. she died, the, there was hardly any time to take it in. Yeah, it was really fast. And I think that made it a lot harder because we didn't really have much time to get our head around things and kind of process it. So Very tough, very tough for all of you. Tell me about your mum. What was she like? She was the best. She just made our whole life about us. She did everything for us. She was just the sweetest, kindest woman. And obviously you're just learning to live with that. And then three mm. years later, your poor sister. So you have, yeah. to, you have to again deal with that. Had you, it's a strange thing, but had you learned anything that in a way sort of helped you in any way? Yeah, I feel like I was able to deal with it a lot better with my sister because I'd kind of been through it and picked up like a few good coping mechanisms. But I also got extra help when my sister died rather than I did when my mum died, which made such a difference. And that's why I want to kind of bring awareness to what like Sue Ryder does and let people know that you can get help because it, it does really help with the grieving process to go and see someone, go and talk to someone talk to other people and be more open about it because a lot of people don't want to talk about it or they kind of try and deal with it themselves. And I think that it's really important that you don't go through it alone. I completely agree. And the work that you're doing with Sue Ryder is so important. And, and you're talking from such experience, sadly, because you had to go through this yourself. And you're right, an awful lot of people, especially in this country, Lottie, we keep it all internal, don't we? And you you really do have to talk about your feelings and, and get it out there. Yeah, because that, that's how you can end up getting yourself in such a dark place if you try and bottle things up and hold it all in. Um, it just ends up getting getting so built up inside you and then eventually you're just going to explode. It's really hard. It's hard for anyone, but obviously with you by association being in the public eye, but also fans of One Direction, Louis' fans, really helped him and helped you as well. There was such an outpouring of, of love and affection and sympathy for you two. Yeah, I think they've always been so kind to us and it was just nice because it's like an extended family. So having them just kind of support us really helped because it can feel grief is a very lonely place sometimes isn't it even i know that you and your brother and the rest of the family are incredibly close but sometimes you just feel it, it can get overwhelming and you can just feel a bit on your own yeah definitely and i think it's amazing what sue Ryder does because you can get online you can get up to six online sessions with a pr professional counselor and you can get peer-to-peer -peer support and it's really good because a lot of people kind of don't can't afford to get help in these free sessions. So it's amazing what they can offer. And I just want to use my platform to let people know about their services. And because I've got such a younger demographic, I think a lot of people know about Sue Ryder as the older kind of generation. But I want to let the young people know that they can use that too. That's a brilliant point actually you're absolutely right and and it's and I know people talk to their friends and I know that you know a, a lot of people are of course this is where you know this is where the internet comes into its own and social media can come into its own that you can all be in touch like that but there's there's something something very special about the fact that you can go to someone who doesn't know you and you can yeah. maybe you can maybe really pour your heart out to them in a way that you can't to your friends or your family yeah and they've got such like a, a different perspective on things being out of the circle and you can kind of just start divulging about yourself and just talk about yourself. And having not had therapy when my mum died compared to having it after my sister died, it's been such a different kind of grief. And I, I look back and I just think I should have just done that the first time. So it's kind of a longer, more painful process um, than it was getting the help when my yep. sister died. And you just kind of, you just sort of learn to live with it in a way you have to. You know, you, yeah. you, you have to do that, but it's, but it's very, very hard. How are you feeling now? How are you doing? 
I feel good. I think it really helps me with my coping to be able to do stuff like this because I feel like I've got to quite a good point with my grief and I've learned so many little ways that help you cope and just to be able to pass that on to people it really helps me with my grief so I'm really happy that Sue Ryder has given me this opportunity to be able to do that. It's really good and how is your lovely brother? How's he doing? Good, yeah he's good. Good, I'm glad to hear it, I'm glad to hear it and I know that he will be supporting you 100% in everything that you're doing. Yeah. He's uh, very supportive. Oh, it's great. It's really good. I think it's wonderful that you're using your platform to do something so important and that will help so many people, especially right now, Lottie, especially just yeah. now. I think right now is the right time. and That's kind of why I wanted to do it now. Cause grieving in lockdown must be so hard. And obviously a lot of people are losing people at the moment. So being able to let people know about Sue Ryder's services, I think it's a really important time right now. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it, my love. You take care of yourself and give our love to your lovely brother. I will. <laughs> Thank Bye. you, Anne. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.